An Inland Empire mother made the ultimate sacrifice for her newborn daughter. Yeah, now her family is preparing for a life without her. CBS 2's Christine Lazar tells us why she refused a life-saving treatment. You often hear mothers say they want to stop time when they have a new baby. Uh-oh. I love it when she falls asleep on me. But for 24-year-old Ashley Bridges, time is running out. She's like my little sunshine in this, like, nightmare. When Bridges was 10 weeks pregnant with now two-month-old Paisley, she was diagnosed with bone cancer. Her doctors recommended she start chemotherapy immediately but she would have to terminate her pregnancy. There's no way I could kill a healthy baby because I'm sick. At eight months pregnant, a few days before these photos were taken, the young mom, who also has a son from a previous relationship, learned delaying chemo had allowed the cancer to spread. And that's basically when they told me that it was terminal. Bridges was told she needed to deliver Paisley immediately so she could start treatment. Even with multiple rounds of chemotherapy, she was given less than a year to live. I felt like I tried so hard to keep Paisley safe and, you know, do the minimum to keep her healthy. And the thought that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to see her grow up. It's really hard. The reality of the situation isn't lost on six-year-old Brayden. His exact words were, if you pass away, I want to come with you. Friends and family take turns helping Bridges care for Paisley during the day. Her fiance, who is in the military, takes the night shift. None of them have second-guessed her decision to place her daughter's life above her own. She's a real-life superhero, to be honest with you. Bridges, too, has no regrets and insists she still believes everything happens for a reason. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here and she is. You going to smile for us, Paisley? In Wildemar, Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.